Isaac Hockey also there in the Geelong colours and Whelan in Olds variant colours. Al de finale aan. En dan ontbindt James Whelan zijn duivels. De Australiër neemt tot 48 seconden voorsprong en dan 25 kilometer bolt Whelan als eerste over de streep. So I've just arrived at James Whelan's house. I've got my podcast equipment here. We're going to have a chat with him because he's just signed a pro contract. And literally less than two years ago, he was a runner. He wanted to make it as a 1500 meter runner in the Olympics. Got injured, took up cycling, and less than two years later, he signed a pro contract. So we're going to go inside and find out how it all came about. Hey mate, how are you? Good. Congratulations. Thank you. She signed a pro tour contract, or we found out about it last week. When did you find out about it? Yeah, about two or three weeks ago. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it was nice to get it all released. Um, yeah. It was pretty hard to have something so so big um, and not be able to, to tell anyone and to catch up with people and, yeah, not be able to tell the people. But it's, it's nice to have it out there, finally. So, yeah. Talk yeah. through the process. How did it come about? Yeah, so I, I guess um, my biggest result... Um, was the Flanders win, um, and I guess that sort of punched my ticket, um, and sort of got negotiations started with um, with the World Tour teams and, and whatnot. And I, I had an agent who was doing it all for me, and um, yeah, I'm incredibly grateful for for what he's done and what he's been able to produce. Yeah. But um, yeah, I guess it's it's pretty pretty surreal at the moment. Yeah. And, um, it's not going to really sink in until I until I head over there. Yeah. So. So yeah. tell me, two years ago, you were a runner. Yeah, that's correct. I was a middle distance runner. Yeah, okay. Um, so p- developed through the schoolboy um, competitions and then was doing national level stuff, um, whether that be the Australian Championships um, or just top level um, yeah, races there. Yeah, so. okay. And then what, what happened? How did you end up in cycling? Yeah, uh, Achilles injury um, pretty much stopped my ability to train and... Um, I guess it turned into being a blessing in disguise. Um, it turned, it turned um, me to cycling and yeah. uh, started racing local crits at the end of 2016 and started doing road races with nationals and Tour of Bright and uh, yeah, found my feet in the sport pretty quickly and had had the support of, of many and um, yeah, somehow managed to get a World Tour contract yeah. only 18 months later. Yeah. And yeah, I think everything just went right. Um, and I'm really lucky. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you create your own luck. So yeah, you do. Um, yep. I guess what's what what is interesting is your your method. Like, ha- how did you so rapidly go from somebody who wasn't riding a bike to having a, a pro to a contract? Yeah, I was just trying to put myself around people and around sport groups that would enable development, efficient development. Um, and yeah, I was lucky enough that people saw put faith in my ability uh, on the bike and um, yeah I was just fortunate enough to get a spot in the development team with Drapak and and opportunities come with that and uh, and then I was able to represent Australia um, in the under 23 Ronde van Vlaanderen and, and managed to win that race and I guess that sort of shortcuts a lot of development and uh, yeah I guess the win at the Flanders got a world tour contract which is amazing. Yeah that win at the Flanders that you got and that team that you were in you weren't selected for that team. How did you go about getting on that team? It was as simple as me just being proactive and I sent him an email and a text and got in contact with a few people from Cycling Australia um, and I knew that there was a spot available and uh, yeah, I asked if I could if I could get a start and they did. I guess it's sort of... Paid your own weight for certain yeah, paid Yeah, paid my own flights um, and yeah, sort of, they were pretty much like, if you can get yourself there, we're happy to support you. And um, I guess it's it's a bit un- unconventional, but it worked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's uh, it's an unbelievable story. Oh, thanks. Congratulations. What's the plan for the rest of the year? Yeah, so head over um, in ten days to Belgium. Mm-hmm. So we'll do a block there, and then I'll do World Uni Games with yeah. Australia, and then I'll start my stage year role with EF Education First Draft Pack, powered by Cannondale. Yeah. And um, so we haven't finalised the race schedule there, but hopefully. Tour of Britain, um, then Lavinia and Worlds with the under-23 Australian team and the Japan Cup as well. But um, yeah, I guess that stage there rolls. Um, an important part of me is finding my feet in the pro peloton and then hopefully it'll segue nicely into 
2019 with my Neo Pro contract. Yeah. Nice work, well done, mate. Cheers. De Duitser Max Kanter wordt tweede en Robert Stannert, nog een Australiër, finish derde. I was hovering for the entire time. I was off the front about 30 seconds, um, and then it stayed out at, at that. And uh, yeah, coming to the final kilometre, I was able to look back and had had a bit of daylight, and it was pretty exciting to realise that I had the win. James, win!